Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. As I was my friends at Yarnspirations.com. This is Inspired by Joy. This is an afghan created by our very own Jeannie. Now, this was created in the summer of 2022. Jeannie was holding it, you know, because she likes to do that because it is an extra special blanket for her annual Boxing Day stitch along, which is December 26th, which we call Boxing Day here in Canada. So what's going to be happening is that there's three different colors. You can see color A is white using Karen one pound. B is rose, again using Karen one pound. And C is Karen jumbo using rosewood, which is two balls. So the Karen jumbo, as you probably know, is always like a variegated yarn. So that's just something that you're going to see. The blanket is 59 inches by 59 inches square. You have all the abbreviations that you possibly need in order to do this. We're going to be focusing on rounds number 1 through 15 today to get ourselves to approximately 12 and a half inches of a square. I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre today in the color called Scuba using a 5.5 millimeter size eye crochet hook in order to play. Before I begin, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre where the color is changing on its own. So if you want to change the colors as per Genie, so it's with color A, so that would be the first color. Break A, so this color would be finished. With B is the color. So please use the actual uh, pattern if you would like to match the colors itself. And for me, I'm just going to let the colors just go as they're meant to out of the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And you can also use any other colorways if you would like to change up the colors or the yarn that makes you happy. You decide. Let's begin. So let's begin with the color A. You're going to chain two. So you need to create a slip knot first. So one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, you need to place in eight single crochets. So come back to the first chain that you created and do eight single crochets in that same one. So count these out together. So one, two, three, go right up over top of the straggler to capture it in, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And once that is in, if you're not sure which one you need to slip stitch to, count it back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you will just slip stitch to the eighth one back and that will complete round number one. And if you went over top of the straggler like I did, then you can just safely cut it with your scissors and be done with it. If you didn't, you're gonna have to weave it in with the tapestry needle. Okay, let's begin round number two. Right where you're sitting, Ginny wants us to chain two. This is not counting as a stitch, so it's just a builder. In each one of the eight that you need to do, you need to apply two double crochets into each stitch. So there will be eight sets of two by the time you get all the way around. So please do that all the way around, two double crochet in each stitch. I'll be right back. So when you get all the way around, you should be able to count two sets for each stitch. So it would be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and 16. This here, people assume that it's a stitch, it's not. It's just part of the very beginning. And when you go to slip stitch, slip stitch to the top of the double crochet, not the chain two. And so that chain two that you did is gonna fill it in so you will not have a gap. Let's begin round number three. So if you're changing out your color on the last one, so you'll change it to the color B and you'll do a standing single crochet in order to, to do that. So we do have tutorials available on standing single crochet. Um, just quickly, let me show you what it is. Just see if I get a spare piece of yarn. So if you did a standing, you would just create a slip knot and just um, put it onto your needle first or your hook and going in and then pull through. And then you see the two on there, pull through the two, that's a standing single crochet. If you're not changing color like I'm not, you just want to start off and you're going to chain one and then you'll single crochet in the first one. Then you'll chain one and then you'll go immediately to the next one and single crochet. And then chain one and then immediately to the next one. You'll do this all the way around for round number three. So I'm coming all the way around and when you go to finish, this is the last one. Remember what I said, this is the join one, so it looks like it's a stitch, it's not. Make sure you chain one before joining it 
with the slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. And that was round number three. Let's begin number four. So let's begin number four. We're sitting in a single crochet, but Jeannie wants us to go to a chain one space, which is right here. So we're gonna single crochet that one and also single crochet the next chain one space. So ignore these single crochets completely. She then wants us to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. She then wants us to go to the next chain one space that's available, single crochet, go to the next chain one space after that, single crochet, and then do the chain work again. So she wants us to ch uh, chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then continue that all the way around. So next chain one space, the next chain one space, and then chain six. Please do this all the way around for round number four. To finish round number four, you're gonna end with a chain six and then slip stitch it to the first single crochet right here. And so you should have what appears to be eight chain six spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that will complete round number four. It says to break the color B and start with the color A in the next one. So I would actually break this yarn now, uh, even in this solid color, because where we need to start is going to be in the top of a chain six space next time. So right where we're sitting is technically incorrect if you were keeping the color the same like I am. So let's just take that off. Let me show you how to weave in ends while we're at this opportunity. So turn it over to the back side and put it through a tapestry needle. So anytime you have to change your yarns, this is what I recommend. And just dragging it through the back side of the same color that you're working with. And drag it through once. twice and three times is a charm. So anytime you have that, that's what you would wanna do and then carry on. So we're gonna move on to round number five. As we begin number five, when we start the first petal, we're gonna finish that petal when we come back around. So choose any one of the chain six and just go right in, put it onto the needle and we're gonna do a standing single crochet, which will be counted as number one. Now what we're going to do is that you're going to apply four more single crochets into that same spot. So we have one, go right up over top of the straggler, two, three, and four. Okay, just pull that straggler behind so it's out of your way. We're now going to continue and um, we're going to go to the next uh, petal that you see here. Okay, and so we're gonna start with five, Double crochets first. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And you're not done. You're going to chain two. And then in the same petal, just kind of pull things down if you want to. In the same petal, just put in five more single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. So you can see that there is a mismatch of the sizing in one petal, which is what you're looking for. In the next one, you're just gonna do the exact same thing and you do them all the way around. So start off with five double crochets first. So we have one, two, three, four, and five chain two, and then five single crochets. So please do this all the way around and I'll meet you on the last petal, which is the one we started with, and I'll show you how to finish that petal when we get there. And I'll be back in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way around. We started off with this petal. So now what we're going to have to do is that we're going to have to put five double crochets into that same one that we started with. and then follow it by a chain two, and then join it to the first single crochet. 
that you started with, the, uh, the first standing. You're gonna wanna get rid of this color. Even um, in solid colors, you're gonna wanna change out this yarn because these are considered petals. These will be sitting up on their own. So we wanna get rid of that. Weave in your ends nicely and we'll continue to round number six in just a moment. So let's begin the sixth round. It looks complicated, but we'll try our best and just concentrate on this round right here. Okay, so right here. And then also these are the single crochets that we jumped over. This is a step out tutorial as I'm about to show you uh, something that I did wrong. Now, if you do it the way that I'm about to show you in the video, this is how it will look. It still looks okay, but it's not intended for the way it should have been done. What it was is that you're going to put in those three troubles like I showed you right here. And then we were gonna go down the side of the four single crochets. The two trebles, I moved this in front and I came in behind, but in actual fact, you should go in front here so just going around and come into here and this will hold this in, in a different position okay so the stitch count hasn't changed it's just a matter of uh, doing it that way if you want to um, it will look different because of the way Jeannie did her colors with the two trebles that come down here it does give a color variation uh, difference and probably that's why I didn't pick it up because it was a single color that I've been working with so um, yeah, so do it the way that you feel is best for you, but the way that I'm showing you at this particular point was not actually technically uh, technically correct, but you can decide what works for you. So lean the uh, pedal forward, it can be any pedal, and I want you to aim in to the single crochet that is sitting right there. And I've already got the yarn wrapped on my needle, and I'm just going to join it and chain a total of four, which will count as a treble. So one, two, three, four. And in the same one that you did the join, apply two more trebles into that spot. So there's how many trebles complete? With the chain four plus these two, it gives you the number three. That's important to know that. And now we have to lean the pedal backward and Jeannie wants us to single crochet into this single crochet that is past the chain two spot. So right here, okay, so here's the chain two and she wants us to single crochet into that spot. So we're gonna do that one plus the next three that are here. Okay, so you got a total of four single crochets that are here. So now she's asking us to put two trebles into this spot right here on the fourth round. So this was the third, this is the fourth. And we're just gonna put in two trebles into that spot. So one and two. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So it's, she says it's gonna look like it's buckling. You gotta give it faith that it will work. So we're now going to aim for this single crochet right here. So let's move this pedal in front again, and we're gonna put in three trebles into that spot. So we have one, two, and three. Move the pedal back and go for the single crochet just after the chain two spot. Okay, so just start single crocheting that one plus three more. So it's a total of four. Then she wants us to come into this spot right here and put in two trebles. So just move things in front so that you can see it. It's a treble, so make sure you wrap that hook twice. and then move again. So we're gonna concentrate here. So shift it forward and put in three trebles first. I'm getting confused on my doubles and trebles this morning. Okay. Shift the pedal back and go for the single crochet just after the chain two spot. 
do that one plus three more. And then go right here, two trebles. So move things in front if you have to see it. And I want you to continue that same idea going all the way around and I'll see you at the end of the round. So I'm coming back around, I've just finished my four singles that were in a row. When we started, we started off by moving the pedal forward. So there's a top of a chain four, so slip stitch there. It says to break to do a new color. If you don't want to, it's okay. And you will notice that it's kind of buckling and this is okay, this is exactly what you're looking for. So half the pedal has been secured down, the other half is sticking up and it looks amazing just like this. So let's continue to lucky round number seven. So right where we are, you can either change your color and then just adjoin and then chain three, or you can do something else that I'm gonna recommend. Just chain one only and start in the fir first one of the joint and just double crochet. And therefore, when you come back around, just join it to the top of the double crochet. So each stitch all the way around is just gonna be a double crochet, so just follow it around. Move the petals out of the way if they are in your way, and I will see you at the end of this round. This is round number seven. I'm coming up on the end of number seven and I'm going right into the last one. And then I'm just gonna to join to the top of the first double crochet and pull it nice and tight. So Jeannie knows that I'm a sucker for front posts and back posts and that's gonna be next in round number eight. If you don't wanna change the color, I'll show you a tip, but here would be where you would change the color if you wanted to. So let's do number eight next. In number eight, if you don't wanna change the color, what you can do is just chain one only and you can just go into the first uh, back post double crochet. So ignore that chain one that we had to do and do a back post double crochet. So if you are going to change your color, just join to the back post of that and then you're going to chain your three, which will count as a back post double crochet. And then in the very next one, then you'll put in a front post double crochet. So you're just gonna alternate between the two. You can see in my sample, I'm still buckling. Jeannie says that's normal, so we'll continue that and uh, just continue to alternate between front posts and back posts all the way around. And this will be round number eight. As you come around to number eight, the last one should be a front post double crochet because you started with a back post and then you're just gonna slip stitch to the first back post double crochet to finish. Now it says to break the color if you want to. If not, um, you can carry on. Now, if you are breaking the color, you can just join with the standing single crochet as you carry on to number nine. Number nine, if you are breaking the color, just join here or anywhere with a standing single crochet. If you're not, just chain up one and apply one single crochet in each, going all the way around once again. So let's do this for number nine and I'll be right back. Coming around at number nine, you're just gonna go right to the very last one and just join to the top, top of the first single crochet or to the first single. So it is laying flat now, so Jeannie is correct. So we have to trust in her, as I mentioned, and looking pretty cool. So let's begin number 10 and we're gonna convert ourselves now into a square. So let's continue to round number 10. We're gonna to convert to a square now. We're gonna chain four, which will count as your first treble crochet. And in the same spot, I want you to place in another treble. But you're not done. Okay, you want to chain two. And then in the same spot, apply another two trebles. So you have a full corner being completed. So here is the sequence to get yourself to the next corner that will be formed. So Jeannie wants us to start by putting in three double crochets in a row. So we'll do one, two, and three. Then three half double crochets. So we have one, two, three, now five half, or five single crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So we're now beyond halfway point of a side. So we now just have to reverse what we've just done. So we're now going to put in three half double crochets to get slightly bigger again. And then how many double crochets? Did you say three? Okay, that's the right answer. So one, 
two, and, and three. So now the corner is next. So the corner, as I showed you already, is two trebles. Okay, chain two and two trebles. So let me just verbally tell you what the side is, if you didn't pick it up already. So it's gonna be three doubles, three halves, five singles, three halves, and then three doubles, and then you're back on a corner. So this will convert it into a square by the time you get back around. So please finish this round off, number 10. So I'm coming to the end of number 10, the last three. Now you're gonna notice that it's sharing a stitch. You should know that I was missing a stitch. I don't know how it was possible, but my goal here is, and this is always a good thing to know, is that I needed 21 stitches in between each one. So that doesn't include the chain uh, two spaces. So if something is wrong like that, don't have to frog everything to reset. You can just throw in an extra stitch if you have to. The math works on the pattern. I might have just missed something down the road somewhere. So I'm resetting myself in the sense I'm just putting an extra stitch so I don't have to worry about it. So let's move on to number 11. Is that cheating or is that cheating? Leave me a comment. <laughs> So you may want to change to a new color as it says, or you can just slip stitch to a corner and get yourself there. And then you can begin at this point. And the corner here, we're going to chain three, which will count as a double crochet and then double crochet in the same spot. Okay, so we'll finish this corner when we come back around. So each one of the stitches all the way around will be one double crochet. And then in the corners will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and this will be round number 11. So making my way all the way back around and you have to finish off in that corner that we started with. So make sure you put in two double crochet and then Jeannie wants us to do a half double crochet join. So instead of chaining two, then you're just gonna just half double crochet to the top of the first chain three and that'll complete that corner. Okay, good. So let's move on to number 12. Let's begin number 12. You're going to chain three, which will count as the first double crochet and double crochet into the corner. So the corners on this round will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and we'll finish this on the way around. You're gonna start off by doing a front post double crochet around the first one, and the next one will be a back post double crochet, and you're gonna alternate between the two of these all the way to the other side, okay? So please do this, and you will end with the front post double crochet before you hit the, the next corner. So just alternate and I'll see you in the next corner in just a moment. This still continues to be round number 12. So I'm heading into the corner next. So it's a front post double crochet before the corner. And then I, as I mentioned, the corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, so then you start another side, start with the front post double crochet, then back post and etc. And you're gonna do this all the way around. So finish off round number 12. So I've come all the way around. The last one, the corner that we started with is two double crochet. And Jeannie wants us to do a half double crochet join. Um, if you wanna change your colors, you can chain two and then uh, just fasten off and then get ready for round number 13. So let's uh, begin number 13 now. Starting in the corner, if you've not changed color, just uh, chain, uh, chain one and then single crochet. If you have changed color and you're starting something new, just uh, do a standing single crochet. Jeannie wants us to concentrate on the back loop only of one single crochet to give it a little bit of texture. So back loop only all the way across to the next corner. Your corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Please do this all the way around. This is round number 13. Coming up to the end of lucky number 13, I'm going to single crochet in the same space that I started with. And then uh, she wants us to do a half double crochet joint to the first single crochet to finish. Let's go on to number 14 next. Number 14, you're going to chain three, which will count as the first double crochet and double crochet back into the same corner. On this round, the corners will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We'll finish this corner when we come back around. Starting right here, you're going to start double crocheting one into each stitch all the way to the next corner and do the corners as I just mentioned. Please do this all the way around for round number 14. So I'm coming all the way back around here on number 14, and I'm just gonna go into the beginning space, two double crochet. And we're going to then put in a half double crochet join to the top of the first chain three. 
We're gonna do our final round for today's video and it's number 15 and Jeannie got all really quite excited about designing. I'm actually quite shocked. Um, look at her design. Let's go on to number 15 and see what she's got planned. So I think Jeannie's using all the crayons inside her backs. <laughs> number 15 is where we're gonna to finish today and uh, she did something on a corner I have never seen before. So. Ooh, so let's begin. We're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do an extended single crochet. I would have never thought to do this. So kudos to her. So you were going to go into the same corner, yarn over, pull through. Then you're gonna yarn over, only pull through one loop. And then yarn over, pull through two. That's an extended single crochet. Mm -hmm. She's getting extra brownie points today. The rest of them all the way to the next corner is going to be one, uh, double crochet back post, which is what I love. So in your corners, what you're gonna have is one extended single crochet, chain two, another extended single crochet, and then you move on to the next side. So I will see you at the next corner, just to verify that you know what you're doing, because who knows, right? And I'll see you there in a moment. So I'm on the next corner already, so you're just going to go right in, pull through one, and then pull through two, chain two, in again, so in, pull through, pull through one, and then pull through two. And then start again, back post double crochet, and continue all the way around for round number 15. So I've come all the way back around. I'm finishing off with a extended single crochet, and then I'm just gonna do a half double crochet joined to the top of the first extended single crochet. This is where we're gonna leave you today, and we'll see you next time as we continue our stitch along. And this is Inspired by Joy by Ginny herself. So I'll see you next time, and we hope you have a great one.